Good evening, everyone, and it's truly a pleasure to be here and help celebrate uh, the great physicians we're fortunate to have at MGH uh, within the MGPO. It is uh, the physicians of the hospital are one of the key reasons why so many patients choose to get their care at, at MGH. Uh, they trust you uh, and really uh, benefit a lot from the commitment that you show to patient care uh, every day, and it is this commitment to providing quality care and your dedication to the hospital that has helped maintain the MGH as one of the best academic medical centers in the nation and indeed the world. This evening I want to share with you how, our, how we intend to help advance uh, this tradition of providing exceptional uh, clinical care to our patients. As you well know, one of the main obstacles that we face on a day-to-day -day basis uh, at the hospital uh, has been the facilities that we have outgrown. Over the past two years, we have made significant progress in addressing some of these issues. Two years ago, we opened the Yaki Center for Outpatient Care, which has ex dramatically expanded our ambulatory capacity for seeing outpatients. And last year, we also opened the Richard B. Simkus Research Center behind the Holiday Inn that has expanded our research capacity and, and enabled us to build uh, wonderful new research programs in regenerative medicine, human genetics, cancer, and cardiac disease. But I'm fully aware of the pressure that many of you face uh, in your clinical practices every day due to the in inadequate supply of inpatient beds, insufficient OR and perioperative space, and our undersized and overcrowded emergency department. And tonight I'm pleased to say that we are making significant progress with plans to do develop a new facility on campus will which will address directly those issues. In fact, we are now in the active design phase of this new clinical building, and I'd like to thank many members of the medical staff who are here with us tonight who have been working with our architects and planners to develop a wonderful new building uh, for our patients and our staff. So in the next few minutes, I wanted to share with you the early uh, planning that we're doing for what is now uh, referred to as the building for the third century of MGH medicine. The reason that we're calling it the building for the third century is that we expect the building to open in 2011, which represents the 200th anniversary of the ho hospital and the beginning of its third century of medicine. So what, what is our vision for this center, for this uh, building? It will be a facility that enhances patient care and access, incorporates state-of-the-art technology, improves the integration of medical services, and in, as, and in a central location, as you'll see, unifies the campus. What will be in, contained within this building are 150 new beds, acute and critical care beds, all private rooms, which will add to the complement of private rooms uh, that I know are also in short supply on, on the campus. It will add 31 operating rooms and significant amounts of uh, prep space and recovery space. It will expand the emergency department and relocate and expand uh, radio, radiation oncology. This new building will be 500,000 square feet, located centrally on the uh, main campus, uh, and is shown in red on the slide uh, on the screen. And as you can see, it will really integrate the campus by connecting the Yaki building uh, to the main uh, main hospital and providing a passageway for people, uh, undercover passageway for people to walk all the way from the T station right into the uh, main lobby in the, in the White Building. This new building will connect directly to the Yaki Center and to the core campus in helping ensure access for our patients and our staff. And as you can see in the slide, uh, it'll, it'll be located on to the left uh, of the main entrance of the hospital as you walk in directly across uh, from the Wang Center. And now I'm going to quickly build the building, and my only regret about the building is that we can't build it as uh, quickly as I'm going to uh, be showing you on these slides. Uh, but in the basement of the building will be a relocated and expanded radiation oncology facility. Uh, we'll be able to relocate radiation oncology from the Cox building and reunite it with the rest of the cancer center now located in the Yaki Center. On the next levels, uh, will be a reorganized and expanded emergency department. And for the first time in the 185-year history of the hospital, ambulances will be uh, moved away from the front entrance so you won't have to, you and patients won't have to dodge them as you uh, enter the hospital uh, every day. Uh, and they will also be uh, undercover. And our emergency department, which is now seeing about twice as many patients as the, the facility it's in was designed for, will be expanded and be able to accommodate those patients in, in more patient-focused uh, uh, settings. Settings. On the next floor is the uh, second, third, and uh, fourth floors will be a new surgical center, uh, which will occupy over 111,000 square feet, have 31 surgical uh, procedure suites, as well as interventional radiology and perioperative space. 
these, uh, these operating rooms, these procedure rooms will take advantage of the latest technology which will bring together uh, what's currently available in, op in operating rooms with advanced imaging and other uh, technology uh, as well. And then last but not least on the top floors uh, will consist of an inpatient pavilion, five floors of inpatient beds. We expect there to be approximately 150 beds on these five floors and all of them will be uh, private rooms. And we are uh, going to be dedicating these two floors to two important programs, uh, medical oncology and the neurosciences. This is a, a picture of what the floor plates uh, will look like on the inpatient rooms and in the dark blue around the perimeter you can see the 32 patient rooms that will be located on this general care unit and in red overlaid on top of this uh, floor plate is the current size of our Ellison uh, building floors. These floors will be about twice as big as the Ellison building. Each of the rooms uh, will be significantly bigger than the double rooms uh, in the Ellison building and there's much more support space computer terminals and other uh, and patient and family spaces as well, which we think will make this, these floors uh, state of the art. Uh, on the next slide, you will see another uh, design feature that I'm personally very excited about. There will be an enclosed uh, glass atrium extending from the fifth floor up to the top floor, which will uh, provide green space and a wonderful setting uh, for our patients uh, and our staff and make this large building much more human in, in dimensions and feel. So again, this is the building for the third century until the donor convinces us to uh, name it something different. <laughs> and uh, here we are in a helicopter uh, looking uh, down at the MGH campus. Now we're zipping up the main entrance of the hospital and you can see the building for the third century uh, on the left. Now we're looking up at it. You can see a little bit of the atrium up above on the right. Uh, and now we're going to zip down uh, Fruit Street under the bridge that can, will connect it to the Yaki building. Now we're speeding past the Mass Ironeer. And, uh, and now we're zooming back up over the Ellison building. And there you can see the uh, new building with the atrium uh, right, right on the upper uh, floors. Uh, so that uh, is a current image of what this will look like in 2011. Just to give you a feel for the timeline, we expect to begin demolition of the Vincent Clinics and uh, Burnham buildings uh, sometime in the middle of next year. It'll take about a year for those uh, buildings to be demolished. Here we are now coming along the Yaki building over the parking garage and you can see the uh, new building right in front of us. There's real, uh, been a significant attempt by our architects to integrate the architecture of the Yaki building with that of the uh, white building and create a building that uh, connects the two not only physically but architecturally as well. So. Um, this is going to be the biggest and most expensive building in MGH's history. We expect this building to cost approximately $500 million and philanthropy will be an important component of our ability to build and then afford uh, this building. We fortunately have already had inquiries from several donors uh, about possible naming opportunities uh, within this building and we will be working, needing to work with you to uh, help us identify patients who you think might like to make a meaningful contribution to the hospital and help make this building a reality. Of course, if anyone here would like to step forward tonight and put their name on this building, I'm sure we could work out some sort of deal in the neighborhood of $75 million. So uh, if, uh, if you'd like to uh, make a donation in that neighborhood, we'll, I'd be happy to uh, talk with you further. So I want to uh, thank uh, Dan and Torch for giving me the opportunity to share with you this uh, exciting project that will be beginning on the MGH campus uh, next year. And I again want to thank uh, all the physicians of the MGO, MGPO for making such a huge difference for our patients and for the mission of this hospital uh, every single day. Thank you very much.